Edis, Norman, TDX. And now I'm gonna work in a very different way. I'm gonna show you first why is the color mask. This is the second thing I wanna talk about. Let's add a color mask. So let's pick the color of the face that we wanna affect. If we wanna just affect the face, right? The problem is here that a lot of colors is matching. So let me just fix this part of the face that I was working on. Let me make my hero in the video green like a Hulk. So I wanna have a superhero Hulk. You need to be very, very skeptic when you're doing that. This, the smaller the circle, the smaller the area of the color you're affecting. This is useful when you have very nicely lit footage, when you have a car and you want to replace the color of the car, you want to make it turn it red to blue because it's too obvious in the shot or any small elements, a poster on the wall, it's coming too much into your attention so you want to take that down. And also with exposure, you can just work on exposure on certain parts. I mean that doesn't look nice at all, but that's an effect as well. And the last but not least thing that I want to talk about, let me add a correction. It's a shape mask adjustment and that's pretty useful when you want to just affect the area of the footage. You can change this, drag it into circle, from circle into square, circle into square. You can have any shape you want, you can drag this anywhere you want, you can cover the sky on top of your footage. So your sky is coming out too much or it's too low, it's too flat. So all you do is bump up the sky, if you have a sky. You can affect, you can put a little mask, make this part darker so that the top of the footage comes out more. You can do that the same on the face. With this you will understand professional car correction much better because that's what they do. They are affecting certain parts of the footage. The only difference between you and them is that they have a tracking, which you can use in motion, which allows you to track certain parts of the footage. This thing is not static. You can do so here as well with keyframes animations. This is the part of the footage that we are affecting. So we are making it green, we are making it red, we are making it blue. You can do anything you want. So that was the kind of look I was going for. So you see you can add in the shadows or in the globally and bring down the high tones. And the more even you do it, the better is it. But you want a nice transition, so you want to stretch it out completely. So once you achieve that, you add a bit of exposure. Exposure works in the same way. It affects the part that it's lit the most. I'm just gonna edit on the high tones there. Not too much. Take it down on the wall. And all I do now is adjust the first color correction without any shape or mask. And I'm gonna burn out this one To get a nice contrast in the footage. So guys, if you have a question, send it to me. I'll be glad to answer it for you. Another thing that I want to show you is balance color. So if you select, once you analyze your footage, of course, because it's only going to work when you analyze it, when you import the footage, this is going to work in the background, so it's not going to bother you. And some people prefer it balanced. Sometimes that's what you want, and it's going to do a pretty good job. So that's sometimes useful, sometimes not. It's a nice tool to have. Another cool thing I want to talk about is match color. So if you want to match color, simply select the other footage that you want to match it in. So let's, let me select this and apply match. What this does, it's matching the color basically. It's taking the color from the other clip and applying it to this clip. So it's going to take all the tones and saturation and exposure and you can always match your footage to anything that looks like it so guys if you did like my episode um, please do do subscribe do like and give me a comment and please tell me what else would you like to see about Final Cut Pro X so I can correct it for you and show it to you hope I can make these videos as short as possible and hope you enjoy them. See you next time.